purple stuff on it. This is my cell membrane, the pink stuff around. This is my nucleus. Then this is the nucleus, like this entire circular shape is the nucleus. Right here. Then And then I went and I got a plastic bag and it was full of air, but I inflated it and that's my vacuole. And then here's my nucleus and nucleus. And then I have zippers for the DNA. Cause it's like, I don't know, it's like DNA. Hey, this was my first time assigning this project of a 3D cell model. Um, I was so surprised by the high quality of projects that came back. We did go over the rubric and what they needed before they went home to create their awesome models, um, but um, they did have a little bit of brainstorming time in class as well. Check, that one was ridiculous. That's gelatin right there. Um, created each one and covered it with, with jello and it did rot over the time. That girl in the red sweatshirt, she sewed everything from scrap fabric around. Um, kids made a uh, key if they did not label them directly. Um, using, look at just cardboard and Play-Doh there. Pretty simple. Now the whole seat is, the whole cell isn't 3D, but um, the, the learning obviously took place. It's not just a paper plate. Some kids just wind up getting Play-Doh in a plate, which which does actually work if everything's labeled and they can come back and, and tell me what all the organelles are. They learn the functions uh, a little bit later after this, um, but after they make them and they see them and they know their names, the learning comes a lot easier. This is a lysosome, and I made it out of like foam paper or something. And this is the mitochondria. It took a long time to cut it like that. So over here, the white substance is the cell membrane, and those waterfalls over there, the cytoplasm. I just wanted to give like a little example. And um, the red stuff with the spider webs are the mit mitochondria. And the green things over here are the lysosome, as you can see. And I know this is a little weird, but I made two types of vacuoles. I think are proportionally way too large. Yeah. But, yeah. I made this cool thing out of Play-Doh. It's not logic. Yet. That's so appetizing. It's old though. So this is the key. You have the EL is just chocolate fettuccine. The Golgi is normal fettuccine dyed red. Lab is peanut m and for the vacuoles. And I used um, the string twizzlers for the cell membrane. The lysosomes, I decided to make them out of um, the... The reason uh, I kind of like it and don't like it is because I use things that you can just get and you don't really have to do anything for it. Yeah. Um, I'm so happy that my mom did not put this on her head before she put this right here. Uh, so that's a mitochondria right there. And it's copper colored, which is probably not super realistic, but. Okay, and then the centrioles are made of marshmallows. So just. On a toothpick. And then some of this stuff is an edible, like the uh, nucleus and the nucleolus and the lysosome. The mitochondria generate a chemical energy, similar to the type of energy you get from a battery. The energy made by the mitochondria is in the form of a chemical product, ATP for short. And we like to surround it. Who's we? Your unicorn helped you? I have the nucleolus, so there was like green clay, or the uh, I have the nucleolus, or nucleus, and then here, um, and then. And then, there, you can't see it, but this, right, you can't see it. This right here, that's um like taffies, like mixed together, I like mix them together with my hands, and then I put it on the bottom of the cell, so you can't see it because of the gel, but, and then these, 
our ribosomes. I added this, but this is a cell membrane. I made it out of styrofoam and I painted it, and then everything else is made out of Play-Doh. No, 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 no. These little things I made, ribosomes, I put little buttons, buttons, but it hurt really bad to put them on because I didn't know. I was a hot glue gun and I heated it up really fast, so I burnt my finger really badly. Um, and the Golgi is clay. It looks great. Woo! Great job. Yes! Eat that Cheeto right So, there. yeah, you can see some of this stuff. There's a coal cast right there. Um, Vacuum right there. Goldie right there. <laughs> no, please stop hurting my stuff. It is really. I just grabbed different pots that I found at home that weren't needed to be used at all. Um, that were gold pots. So I just, yeah, pulled it all together. What was your favorite one to sew? My favorite one to sew, um, I think it's the mitochondria. Okay, right there. Yeah, because. Can I squish it? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, it makes a weird sound. Uh, I do got all my other nails, all, all the functions right here. But I made mean, I mean, I painted it, but that's one issue that I have. The paint it kind of dried and then kind of came off. Yeah. Um, so basically, I made my organelles out of clay and some of my dad's fishing lures. So, so the, some of the pins are ribosomes, and you use pins to put everything together, huh? Yeah. So you didn't use any glue. And, yeah. Okay. Um, and it kind of broke, like, a lot as I was walking to school yesterday, but it was, like, collapsing. Do you think real cell membranes sometimes tear? Yeah. Possibly. So, I, yeah. For the membrane? Yes, they didn't have enough clay, and it was not all of it could fit. So everything is made out of modeling clay. So if Play-Doh. And I looked up on the internet um yeah, like organelles, animal cell. And I found it was like pins to pin them down. So they wouldn't fall off. Yeah. And then um I found this like little ring thing. Happy then. Hey, slap a comment on this video and I'll send you the PDF for the rubric for this project. Great job, everybody! Woohoo! Biology!